Windows 10 DPI scaling causing blurry text. Windows 10 handles DPI scaling a bit differently than other Windows versions. It can cause certain applications when you increase the scaling to have blurry text. A couple of workarounds for this. First one is by apps where you can right click on the shortcut of the app that's causing your issue, choosing properties, compatibility, and putting a check mark beside disable display scaling on high DPI settings. The other way is to run a script that will switch you to Windows 8 DPI scaling. You can do this by running a script file when the machine starts. It's easy to create the script file. Right click on your desktop, choose new, text document, paste in the registry keys. These three keys will switch you to Windows 8 DPI scaling. The key DPI scaling VER is 1018 for Windows 8, would be 1000 for Windows 10, and Win8 DPI scaling is 1 for on, 0 for off, and the log pixels is your percentages for the actual scaling. Right now it's at 78, which is 125%. You can choose which one you want by changing the last two digits from 78 to say 90 or 150%. So next you want to save the file as a command file. So just choose save as, give it any name you like. The extension as dot cmd. Because we need it to be a command file. Choose save. Now on the desktop there's a file. It now looks different than the other text documents because it's a dot cmd file. Now we need to put this script that we just created into your startup folder. Just right click on your start menu icon, choose run, type in shell colon startup, then click OK. This is the startup folder for just this user. So when I put this in here, it's only going to run for this user. The DPI scaling will not change for anyone else on the machine unless you put it in their startup folder or a startup folder that starts for everyone. Once it's in here, you need to run the file once here to write to the registry and then reboot for the settings to apply or reboot twice. Same goes for removing it. If you want to go back to Windows 10 DPI scaling, you would just go back into the run shell startup to get back to this folder and just remove it. And you'll need to reboot twice to get it back to the old settings. Windows will reset to Windows 10 after two boots. So if it's not in your startup folder, it's not going to work. So you can't just run the script once and have it work. It needs to be in your startup folder or set it to run as a task.